Hi guys, welcome back to Together with Electronics. This is episode number 7. And today I'll be showing you guys how to add real-time clock support to your next project. It's not really that hard. So stay with me, sit back and enjoy the video. Uh, so this is the circuit diagram we'll be using for our project. It is based around uh, DS1307. It is a Dallas semiconductor ch uh, chip. It is a real-time clock and calendar. It's extremely powerful and uh, very accurate as well. And it's uh, not very expensive. So it, it makes it the ideal chip uh, for any real-time clock uh, based project. So it uh, so we'll be using this in our project, um, and you will notice that I've connected an external crystal to it. Uh, it is very important you choose the exact right crystal, otherwise it will not work. Then you will notice I have a battery connected to it. Uh, the battery supplies uh, this chip with uh, power even when the current, uh, even when the power supply is cut off. In case uh, suppose in case of a uh, uh, power cut. It will still continue to remember the time and uh, increment it uh, so that uh, if the by chance there is a power cut, uh, the IC will not reset itself uh, and it will continue working without external power. And it works on I2C interface, so you can hook many uh, of these devices uh, on a single I2 on a single I2C bus. Now. Uh, before we actually use this chip, we need to actually configure the time before using it. So suppose uh, uh, we want to use it in our project. Before so, before we actually use our uh, project, we have to set the present time into it, so that it uh, will remember the time and it will uh, continue to increment it in hours, days, and seconds. Uh, so this uh, so to configure the chip it can be done in quite a few ways. One is that you can connect it to a microcontroller uh, via I square C and connect the microcontroller to the computer using a USART communication bridge. However, this has many hassles like you have to give up uh, your USART pins where, uh, whereas you could have used it in some, some other application. And also that um, you will have to do a fair bit of coding for uh, using the USART. Uh, and then you have to actually go ahead and use the I square C interface to program it in a very non-intuitive manner. So this method will be a much easier way. This utilizes an Arduino. Uh, if you do not have an Arduino, you have to do it the hard way. So, uh, but if you have an Arduino, it actually makes the job a lot easier. So let's see how it goes. Uh, so this is the DS1307 interface. It just so happened that I did not have a spare DS1307 chip lying around. Uh, so what I did is I utilized a part of my project of uh, for a different project, uh, which also utilized uh, the same RTC interface, and I um, uh, removed the microcontroller from it so that it does not get interference from any other part of the circuit. So this is the same equivalent of the circuit diagram I've shown you earlier and there's nothing extra, nothing so special about it. Uh, and now you'll see that I have connected the Arduino Uno uh, with it. These two are the power cables and they're running uh, to power the board and these red wires you see here are the I2C interface. So that was how to set up the DS1307 interface with the Arduino. In the next video, I will actually be programming this uh, DS1307 chip and uh, trying out, trying it out with the Arduino uh, serial monitor and see if it works. Uh, so until then, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.